morning friends my name is ravi sultanekar and i came with the english version of my, of my last video feature of cyber security in case if you doesn't understand my language hindi this is uh, a pretty much recorded version of my last video in english uh, this video i'll try my best to make it neutral because i am from cyber security doesn't mean everything is plus i am also going to talk about the negative aspect and how more Now, careful you have to be in case if you are choosing this career. Okay, so let's get started. Let's start with plus point. Okay, the big biggest plus point if you are coming to cyber security guys is more and more and more things are happening online. Okay, everything is getting online nowadays. The you know things uh, sensitive things like opening a bank account that also has become online now. purchase of dress material anything everything has become online even food people are ordering online right because things are going more and more online online threats are increasing and because more and more online threats are increasing demand for cyber security professionals are also increasing day by day so this is the biggest plus point why you should choose career in cyber security so future is going to be bright guys another plus point of being into cyber security if you are choosing your career in cyber security is user awareness cyber security is still very much unaware for a common user right so one everything is going online but security small small things how to keep otp on on your gmail account or thing people doesn't know so there is a very big gap between <clears throat> how rapidly things are getting online versus a common person who is using internet his awareness his sense of cyber security okay i should not i should keep a very complex password it should not be my father's name my daughter's name and all these things people do still people do a lot right so what i am trying to say is one everything is getting online very rapidly but on that ratio people the common user is not aware of cyber security hence the gap is very high because people are still very much uneducated in cyber security this is the main reason why the demand of cyber security professionals are also very high and it is increasing because everything is happening online right so this is one more reason why your future is going to be very secure right now it's a boom digital boom everything is happening online that is the main reason why up to next 5 10 years i can guarantee cyber security is going to be a boom for sure one more plus point which is actually helping cyber security uh, if you see automation has actually killed a lot of jobs right it's a fact many jobs automation ai ml has actually killed but in cyber it's not actually killing the job it is basically generating the job i'll tell you how for example more and more you do automation okay automation can only help to uh, to automate the the function which are all, which are all repetitive in nature right that is where automation can play the game but wherever there is a human interaction yes because cyber security is not just about physical security it talks more about consulting when you need to talk to people you need to plan to uh, understand clients what is requirement of a client okay because cyber security by nature is a job where you need to understand people the psychology clients you know their requirement and moreover the kind of threats which is increasing day by day by day by day how much you can automate thousands of malwares are getting infected on a daily basis how much you can automate it's right now at this stage it is not possible at the same time when i talk about automation automation even if you do automation you have automated entire program you have automated entire process you need a security professional to check it whether this automation this scripts this software everything is functioning is there any loophole from a cyber security standpoint or not so one it is generating the job and secondly even after automation you need a security professional to test it properly from a security point of view okay that is the main reason why one digital transformation is happening automation is happening and it is generating job for a common human right a common professional okay so these are the plus point let's talk about the minus points one biggest minus point if in case if you wanted to be into cyber security is technology update cyber is guys you know very 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 fast very rapid field 
Okay, it is not a field where you have done something today and it will stay the software or the program or the tools technology will stay forever. No, it's going to change very rapidly because threats are changing daily. Daily new malwares are coming. Daily new viruses are coming. People, all hackers are trying to uh, <clears throat> create new new ways of attacking. Right, that's why technology wise, if you decided to come into cyber security technology wise you have to be very much updated every time and it will become a challenge for you so in case if you have passion that i can be updated and make sure that i'm going to update myself technology wise every time then cyber is the right field for you in case if it is not then this is not the right field for you okay second problem which i see especially in cyber security is commitment level okay there is in cyber what happens guys there is no scope as such for example, if I am working as a software tester, if I am working as a as a server administrator, okay, so my responsibility is to make make sure that this server is up and running. I am doing the backups and doing the the functions properly. Or let's say if I am a software tester, I will be limited to that software. I'll test it. I'll give the report. That's that's okay. I mean, it's a scope driven. Cyber, the problem is you have to secure everything. Okay, if, if there is a physical security, you need to know, uh, you will take out the risk in HR department, finance department, IT, okay, information security, physical security, uh, if virus is coming, malware is coming, okay, every aspect of your organization, wherever, uh, wherever, whatever department you talk about, cyber security has to be involved. For example, your company is, is, is basically trying to acquire a new company. There also cyber security need, team needs to go evaluate the things, understand the risk, what are cyber security tools, technology, people, process practice they have, and accordingly they have to suggest. So the scope of cyber security is very high. It's not like a normal job where you are just stick to one, one particular domain, you are having very small job. No, it's very wide scope. Because the scope is very high, the commitment level which is required from you guys is also very high. So that is <clears throat> something which will maybe irritate you or maybe it will make you more, <clears throat> more, more, more responsible. Yeah. Third thing, <clears throat> what I see the biggest minus point in cybersecurity, if you want to make career in cybersecurity is, it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's a fact, guys. You know, if you are trying to become, if you have decided to come into cybersecurity, I have seen many, many, many people. They are just trying to come into cybersecurity because it looks very fascinating. Okay, it it looks like okay, I can earn in in millions if I come into cybersecurity. So fascination, okay, or maybe taking it as a as a as a as a path to earn a lot of money is okay. But when it comes to real time ground, the kind of commitment, the kind of knowledge it requires, the kind of skills the cybersecurity a professional is required, is expected, is very high. So meeting up to that expectation is not everybody's cup of tea. Okay. So if you are very much clear, if you are very much committed, and if you are continuing your learning journey on a daily basis, then cybersecurity could be the right field for you. Okay, so I thought, you know, this was a question which we keep on people uh, were asking me. Uh, in fact, I made a video in Hindi, but maybe a lot of people doesn't understand that language. That's why I created the same video in English. If you like this video, please do subscribe me. Please like, you know, keep the like button, share button. In case if you didn't like it, then also please like it here. Okay, thanks a lot guys for your time and wish you a very good day. See you in the next video.